Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Armac Fall and yes another HGIG versus dynamic tone mapping test with Assassin's Creed on the Xbox Series X. And this time I also included SDR pictures because um, I'm still not convinced that HGIG is the way to go with this game. Okay, but let's start with SDR pictures, okay? So I have a quick look on this picture right now, or the screenshots or the photo, whatever you call this. This is SDR at the moment, okay? So, and keep in mind, I'm calibrating my uh, TVs uh, to 100 candela in the SDR mode, and this is the result. So I did my very best to get, yeah, a proper picture, and this is, this is how it looks really on the TV. So, now have a look on HGIG and sorry for the disturbance on the uh, yeah, right hand side from the camera but just focus on the sun. Um, so my understanding is, so to be honest the SDR looks better to, be, to me but maybe I have just a problem of of understanding how a sun should look like, you know what I mean? Because it can be of course that this is the way the uh, developer wanted to yeah, make this sun, something like this. But why, why then it looks in SDR like this? So just compare the both pictures at the moment. So there is a big difference. I, to be very honest, I still think the SDR picture looks better to me um, when I compare this uh, side by side than yeah, I don't know. So what is your opinion about this? And now we have, of course, dynamic tone mapping as well. So just have a look on dynamic tone mapping, how it looks like in dynamic tone mapping. And that's now the picture. So it looks very similar to the SDR content. So now what is the conclusion here? I have really no idea. I just really think I'm just playing all the games in SDR and I'm not bothering anymore with HDR, but that's not that's not the solution, you know. So this game, according to yeah, the bookleg, bookleg, book, booklet, booklet. Oh my god, I'm sorry. HDR10, HDR10, which uh, the Xbox is supporting, but that doesn't tell us anything if it's dynamic tone mapping or HGIG. That's the problem. Um, so I have a. I have a question. So can anyone from the PC version players maybe take or compare this with his findings on a yeah on a proper uh, HDR screen or whatever how it really looks like? Because I really like to know how it looks like and I still think that the SDR picture compared with the uh, dynamic tone mapping picture it's very similar and of course the only similar the difference is the brightness Okay, so again, I have no idea actually what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, no, I have no idea what is the right mode in this game. So SDR looks identical, in my opinion, to dynamic tone mapping. There's just a big difference, of course, in the brightness and maximum brightness. HGHG looks not good at all. But maybe I'm just wrong, you know, maybe... Um, they implemented HGIG in this game and this is really how it should look like, uh, can be. So many, uh, maybe one of uh, the PC players maybe can confirm this or not confirm this uh, with a yeah, HDR monitor. Just uh, the way I showed him, uh, or I showed you uh, which, which sun is actually the correct one. So another video done um, about HGIG and I still don't know what to do to be honest. Um, at the moment, I have both PlayStation 5 and my Xbox calibrated to um, HGIG because in so many other games, it just look, looks so much better. So I, yeah, it is really just this, this single game where I have the issues with at the moment. Uh, in Gears 5, it looks much better. In uh, uh, the new Spider-Man, it looks much better. In my old uh, PlayStation 4 games like Ghost of Tsushima, it looks much better, what I found so far, uh, because it, it just not over brighten the whole picture. It's the same here, by the way. It will over, over bright, in my opinion. No, just start again. It 
it uh, raises the brightness in the picture when you change it from HGL to do dynamic tone mapping. But in my opinion, dynamic tone uh, so HGLG is too dark in this game, and dynamic tone mapping puts it on the right spot. That's my opinion. That's my my findings so far. So just do me a favor. Just verify this uh, with yourself on yourself. So if you have an LG CX TV, then just give it a try. And uh, uh, you PC players out there, please just leave me a comment. Uh, what do you think? Uh, how does your sun looks like uh, on your HDR screen? I really like to know. Okay. Thank you very much for watching me and yeah, subscribe to my channel as always. See you next time. Bye.